Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video guide for Ark Survival Evolved. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to tame Hyena Dons. These are a bit more complicated to tame and they are a passive tame. They don't require any kibble, but they are tricky to tame. So this is what I am going to be showing you. I'm going to show you my favorite method for taming Hyena Dons. Now for this, we're going to be using a Pitfall Trap. It is the best way of doing it and I will explain that uh, and why we do it that way in the game. So, with that being said and done, let's get into it. Behind me, you can see that I have already built a pitfall trap. It is basically a 3x3 three three foundations wide, and that is because hyenodons tend to be in a pack. You will want to separate the hyenodon from the pack leader or ultimately get the pack leader to tame. Uh, it will not tame... Uh, so... And, Basically, no hyena don can be tamed whilst in a pack or close to a pack leader. So as you can see right there, the foundation is 3x3 three three foundations wide. And height-wise, it is two walls tall. And from the top of the walls, there are two ramps going into the ground. You do want to make it wide and big because you want to lead most of the pack into the trap. So that is pretty much the way it's going to work. Now, very important with the hyena dons, it will be aggressive to uh, medium and small creatures, including you, the player. So for this, we're going to use a Argentavis or any flyer, but I recommend an Argentavis, and you'll see later on why I recommend the Argentavis. So with that said and done, let me show you exactly how we're going to kite the hyena dons into the trap. I'm going to go and find the pack that I want to lure into the trap. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So down below, as you can see, there is a pack of hyena dons. There is a high level, well, actually quite a few. There's two high level hyena dons, one of uh, level 130 and one of level 140. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to land next to them. They will aggro on me and start attacking my Argentavis. Watch what happens to my health. My Argentavis, do bear in mind, is a fairly tanky flyer in itself. But my health is dropping quite quickly. So that is what you'll want to do the moment you start flying. And if you get too high above the ground, they will lose aggro. So we're going to fly above the trap. This may take a couple of attempts. They do tend to derp out when they come to the ramps. So as you can see right there, they derped out. But that's fine. They are close to the trap. So I'm just going to reset. There we go. And I am going to... Fly close to the ground, land inside the trap, wait for the hyenodons to get in. Now, as you can see, some of them have overjumped the trap. That's fine. They do have that mechanic where they do tend to jump on the prey. Let's see what I have in the trap. I want the highest level hyenodon. And we have the 140 hyenodon. That is perfectly fine. Now, in order to tame a hyenodon, you do want to single it out from the pack, especially from the pack leader. Whilst it is close to the pack leader, it will not give you the prompt to tame it. And in order to tame it, you just have to walk or crouch behind it and um, pet it. For this, you will also need, of course, a ghillie suit. So, very good to have that. And you have to stay at a fair distance and not aggro the hyenodon. Very important, as you can see, the hyenodon is aggressive. But once it is singled out, it will be a uh, skittish creature and will want to run away. So you do not want to upset it. Now, do bear in mind, in the trap, I do have some hyenodons. So obviously, whilst it is in a pack, I cannot tame the pack leader. So what I'm going to have to do is... I am going to have to single it out by killing off all of the hyenodons that I do not want in the trap. And this is why you want to have a fairly wide trap to kite in the hyenodons. So I'm going to dismount my Argentavis, pick a weapon that I prefer, and carefully target out the hyenodon that is not the pack leader. Hopefully not kill it with the AoE damage from the uh, tech rifle. There we go, I accidentally hit the wrong Hyenodon. Now, as I said, this is a passive tame. Currently, they are aggro. That means I cannot get close enough to actually tame them. And if I do get close enough, I will not get the prompt to tame them. So, once I've cleared out the trap of all of the Hyenodons that I do not want, I will then have to fly out of render distance. Um, oh, let's not get that guy going out there. 
Also very important here is make sure you do not get too close to the edge of the ramps as you will slide off into the trap. You do not want to do that. There we go. We're going to wait to make sure that the aura off of the main Aenodon disappears. So once the aura has disappeared off of the pack leader, that means there are no more Hyenodons in its presence. So let's have a look. I've got a ghillie suit right here. I'll go and equip this right now. With the Aenodon, it does have a saddle or a meat pack, which you can equip it as a saddle. This has several purposes in that uh, it does give it, I guess, some armor value, but also it preserves the meat that you store in the Hynodon's inventory. This is what you will need to craft the meat pack. And as you can see right here, my Hynodon is still aggro because I did not fly at a render distance. It is running around. Whilst I do not have the combat music on, I know it is aggro. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to fly above the trap all the way up, up, up until you cannot see the trap anymore. You'll want to wait for a couple of seconds in that area when you get to the point that you cannot see the trap and then fly back down and the Hynodon should not be aggroed anymore. I'm going to show you what not to do firstly, and then I'll show you what to do once you have come down. There are several very important things to note here with the Hynodon's taming mechanics. So, I should not be able to see the trap anymore. I'm going to slowly make my way down, give it some time to lose aggro. And now I'm just going to sprint downwards towards the trap. I want to do this quickly because as you can see the trap is still spawning in and sometimes it can be a bit buggy where the Hynodon can walk through the walls because I've not quite spawned in. So that is a thing to keep in mind. Now I am going to come from the top of the trap and I'll show you why you don't want to do that. I have tested this out many a times and it does not work this way. Alright, we'll wait for it to go towards a far wall. As you can see, it sees you and it wants to run off. It will not want to attack me because it is not part of a pack. So that is a very interesting mechanic that the Hynodon has. If I walk up to it, I do not get the prompt to pet it. The way we're going to tame it is through simply petting it, which is pretty neat indeed as a taming mechanic. So it's just going to want to run away. It's already aggroed on me. And so there's nothing much I can do apart from just fly at a render distance all over again. And then I'll show you the correct way of doing it after I show you uh, the taming mechanic. I will also show you why you want to use a pitfall trap as well. Because I can imagine that several people might be asking themselves, well, why not kill the other Hynodons and then just tame it out in the open. So let's do this. Oh. Okay, maybe not like that. I need to jump. I kind of timed that one wrong. It's fine. There we go. So I'll wheel myself up to the Argentavis and I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so as you can see, I have a hyena don. It is walking about. I am crouched. I am wearing a ghillie suit. If I stand, it will run away. Very important, even though I have a ghillie suit. So I'm just going to follow this guy. It does lose aggro fairly quick on the ground. I'm going to try and do this again. But you have to be crouched and sneak up behind it. This only works if it is not part of a pack. Very, very important. And it does get bonuses when part of a pack in terms of the damage and the reduced amount of damage that it takes. So it does get those bonuses. As you can see, it does wander quite a bit. Now, bear in mind that the area I am in is actually quite dangerous. There are uh, raptors here. There are aloes here. There are all sorts of things that spawn in this area. And as you can see, it does wander quite a fair distance. So, on top of that, uh, you have to clear out the rest of the pack. Then you have to make sure and clear out the area where it may wander. But things will spawn on top of you. Which will complicate your taming. As you can see, you get a 30 second counter. Very important. You need to pet it straight after the 30 seconds run out. If you wait too long, the torpor or the torpor, the taming effectiveness drops quite quickly. 
and so therefore you will lose out on levels and these things are pretty darn amazing in terms of having them in a pack and definitely worth having plus they look like a dog they make cute noises and i definitely recommend a pack of Ionodons. they can be quite ferocious in a pack if you get too close to it it will run off but don't worry it doesn't run off too far just to kind of give you an idea of what to expect just stay crouched and once again walk up behind it and that's pretty much it do not let it get too close to you now going back to the trapping mechanic as you can see i still have a hyena don in the trap a different hyena don because i let that one out to show you what you need to do in order to tame it and the nice thing is if that does not require um food so i have some stone door frames and that is the way i'm going to go inside the trap make sure the area is clear and nothing dangerous is around as it may walk up the ramp and in the trap with you and then well that is going to be problematic so replace one of the bottom walls with a door frame once the hyena don is in the trap crouch and just creep in walk up behind it you do want to try and always creep up on the hyena don behind it so that you can pet it before it sees you then just back out count down 30 seconds and then keep your eye on the hyena don as long as it's not aggroed it should not be able to run out through the door frame you do want to stay behind it at all times okay 10 seconds to go before it wants its next petting and uh, we should be there now four three two one and here we go and that's pretty much it this is how it works once you have tamed it you can then take the hanedon out of the trap and then just replace the door frame with a wall again and that is pretty much it you can try and use a smaller trap but it may take several more attempts to get the hanedon or the entire pack to fall into the pitfall trap be careful when it does turn around it doesn't normally tend to do a 180 but when it does you don't want to find yourself cornered because you will aggro the hyena don it whilst they will not attack you it will run away and reset the taming so nearly there it does take a bit of patience but unlike other passive tames it is always a 30 second consistent time between each petting whereas with the passive creatures that you tame through the use of food the waiting time between the first and second feed is a lot longer than the time between all of the other feeds following the second feed so this always has a 30 second consistent timer on it once you have tamed the hyena don, you can then use it, breed it, do whatever you want with it. You basically have yourself a little puppy. So you can put the meat pack on it. Once again, I'll show you the requirements for the meat pack. You do want to have that on your hyena don if you're going to use this as a hunting pack. And they're actually quite fun to use as a hunting pack. Now, I do have a hyena don on my shoulder. And as you can see, it does get the aura bonus from that hyena don, which does actually give it a good boost, as you can see right there. So this was the hyena don that I showed earlier in the video. I'll pick this guy back up. Actually, I'll put him in a cryopod. And then I'll show you the uses of the hyena don and why you want it to have a meat pack on its back. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, yeah, we are going to show you the coolest feature of the hyena don. So as you can see, look at the spoil timer whilst the meat is in the Argent inventory. Do bear in mind that the spoil timer in the... Uh, Argent's inventory will be greater than that in my inventory and as you can see it significantly increases in the hyena don's inventory whilst it has the meat pack saddle on so very important it acts pretty much as a refrigerator or a preserving bin and that is pretty much it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative if you have please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and content to the channel also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.